Uh, Whitney, do you want more drinks? Can we get another drink? Yeah, good bit. Good bit, Brendan. He thinks he's a fucking comedian now. That's exactly right. <laughs> Great. I'm really. Are you recording? I you don't think it's weird you have three good drinks? Good bit. No, I don't. I That's don't. That's not weird. I, nope. Listen. You think it's weird only... that you have five fucking meals in a bag? They're both <laughs> probiotic. The they're, bro- they're both probiotic. <laughs> One's called Good Belly. The other's called Kivita. <laughs> so she's very regular. And her- <laughs> Her waist is I like tiny. my liquids. You got, you, you're looking, I've known you now 15 years probably. No, you haven't. I've known you a long time. You've been alive about 55 years. That's true. Uh, but, um, how long have you guys known each other? Whitney oh, and Nine. Well. I'm going to say nine years. Well over nine years, though. Really? Yeah, when did you I've been doing comedy 10 years. Yeah, but so when that's you, weird. When, but 15. I met you when you were like, "You're the best, Brian," and you were in my front row. Like, never happened. So that's so weird because I stuff. was like, "Boo!" No, no, no. Because you were like, "You're yeah. incredible." How do I become like you? Uh, mm. No, when you were opening for Dan Cook. Ah, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean impersonating Dan <laughs> Cook. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, she's witty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Whitney Cummings. Um, that's her stage name. Her, her real name is Gertrude. So. <laughs> Come shot. Come shot. That's oh, wow. my real name. People do ask me that all the time. They're like, is that like your stage name? I'm like, why would I pick Cummings? Like, what would my original Cummings. last name have to be yeah. to think Cummings was an upgrade? It's true. You're looking good, though. Thank you. Um, how good? I mean, like like, like when my voice gets kind of gross. <laughs> I wish there was a meter of how many times Callan's Well, she's so immune to my sexual harassment that she just rolls her eyes. I've been yeah. sexually harassing her for, well, since I've known you. Yeah. Yeah. Since Am I allowed one. to tell the story of our how, when you really sexually harassed me? Yeah, oh, I love I this story. story. Did we, I think <laughs> I've heard this. Yeah, we didn't hook up, but we were. Um, there was this place called Westwood Brewing Company, right in um, <laughs> Westwood, and it was like this really janky. Uh, we Adam Hunter used to have yes. a room there, and yep. uh, I would go to try to do like four minutes in front of three like drunk college girls, <laughs> and then you would try to have sex with those three drunk college girls. Sure would. Good system, after though. I had sure would. after I had bombed in front of them El dirt bag over here. and then one time we like left it was like a tuesday at like it was only like 7 30 and you're like can i get a ride in my car and i was like sure <laughs> and you got in the car and i literally like turned the wheel like to like look where i was going and i turned around and your dick was out <laughs> hey. the old hey, peekaboo but, dick. It, was, it, peek-a-boo but it was so weird no news because it no. was, was like, it hard it was or just no it was not hard which now that i look back i'm super insulted you were, you were impressed with my piece though i think no you have an impressive what piece. did you say were you like hey man uh, no i think i screamed and then just <laughs> yeah I think, uh, <laughs> and then i, I laughed i don't remember that i do remember that vaguely, definitely happened we did kind of yeah, we did kind of. We made up. out one time, but in like yeah. a laughing way. Yes, like I couldn't like your but, move. But I definitely is, show. I probably. I mean, here's I've how definitely I think seen your piece. Yes. Wait, it's it's way better. So did you guys make out the first time, kind of hooked up, and then the next time you pulled your dick out because that's not. Probably, that's it was what the I other way so. around. Give the it up, first dude. time. Yeah. I think it was the other way. The first I, no, time I, you pulled your dick out and we didn't make out. That's aggressive. And and it's by the way, much. and then I drove you to your car, which was like two cars away. I love that as a story, and I love. <laughs> I'm it right as here. Story, and, I, and, I, and I and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as a story because I mean, but I do believe I think my guess is knowing me <laughs> that as much of a dirtbag as I am, I think we probably hooked We're up making for out. a second. Yeah, we did a thing. Yeah, and then I was while like, I was driving. Well, no, 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 when when we were. There was one night we kind of got together, and I go, "Look at my dick." And then probably <laughs> you were driving the but car, and that night you were over it, and I was probably like, "I want to maybe I can figure out a way to get a blowjob," <laughs> which you've never done to me. But I was like, "Man," and I probably Hold I can imagine that's out. probably when probably I went, no. here's my half part <laughs> dick. <laughs> you know yourself better than and then I. You do. shut him down. And I then you guys I, just were like, I'll see you tomorrow. I think well, I we've think we've always been friends, so well, it wasn't when you're like com- that. But you, the great thing about you is yeah. that, and I don't know if it's to um, sort of manage if it doesn't work out, mm. but from what I remember <laughs> of like kind of hooking up with you is that you l- are really funny about it. Right. Like you're not gross about it right. like some other well, comics. I'm not going to be, yeah. Yeah, like you're making the person laugh, so it's not like if you get rejected, it's like, okay, ha-ha, I'll just. Well, my, my definition not creepy is that if I'm into you, you're going to know it. Front if you're center. in me, I'm going to know if it. I'm, if I'm in you or if I'm <laughs> I into hope you. I would know it. <laughs> in you or into you. Look, my feeling is that I'm not going to mince words. I'm going to be like, I want you right now. Blah, blah. But it's when guys kind of pull this gentleman thing and then you look and yeah. he's a really nice guy and yeah. then you look and he's got his dick out. Yeah, you yeah. don't have oh, any bad serial, intentions. No, yeah. you're a serial killer. Be honest about your creepy. Right. Which, of course, I've always Callan gets puts it out there. That's yeah, why it works. Yeah, you have to do that. But you're also outgoing and charming, charismatic and funny. And, and tall, yeah, and you're and you're tall. also not like gross. Like you're good looking yeah, enough yeah, for yeah. it to be endearing be and way flattering. Way if you were gross. Thank you. Yeah. I just love that story. And I'm going to tell everybody out there that I believe 
her version of the events just for me is true. Maybe because I had PTSD and I'm I'm I, dyslexic about it. I I that. But I do think we just like made out like and laughed about it. Yeah. In my apartment, I was like, get out of my apartment. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah. I was. But probably, I did I was, get, I was for sure trying to have sex with you. But I'm here's sure. what I did glean is that you do not hear no a lot. Yeah. Probably I not. do know that. Yeah. Or you don't listen to it. I don't listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't take it seriously. I'm, I'm right. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> so salt. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I think. Um, like uh, I remember being like, oh, I'm just going to have to have sex with him because he's not going no to take no for an answer. I know. Right. Like, I'm just going to do this to get like, him to but go away. But you've done a really, really good job. You are one of the few women. It's probably because you are funny and because, you know, but it's very difficult for a woman who looks good like you. It's very difficult to be in a comedy world which is so male dominated and dominated and by the way kind of women hating in a way not to indict all comics but mm-hmm. there is a lot of it's not women hating that's bullshit but but um uh it's a it's a boys club for sure and somehow you were always able for the whole time to navigate those waters and not only kind of make friends with guys but not deal with all the I want to fuck a girl. I never had guys. You're, I think, the only <laughs> guy that was delusional enough to try to hook up with me. Yeah, no that, other comic did. Everyone's always trying to try. Well, Brett Ernst one time, like, yeah, me and Brett are the same guy. Came, so but he came into my apartment. Like, he was like, let me drive you home. And I was like, I'm good. He's like, no, I'll drive you home. And I was like, okay. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't think of myself as a naive person, right, but right. I just was like, okay, fine. And then he got up and walked <laughs> me to my thing. And I was like, God, what a bug of it. Like, it didn't. And then he came in and he was like looking. He was like, oh, let me look at your place. And I'm like, sure. Like, the. Yeah. And because when I'm doing. Let me look at your place. A guy like Brett Ernst or me is not like going to come in. I apartment. There was nothing to look at. But guys like us are not <laughs> going to come check in. Check out your place. Classic move. I, Brennan, Brennan, myself, and Brett Ernst are not guys who are just going to come into your house to look around no, at the fucking walls. Yeah, someone's <laughs> going to die. Yeah. So I. Um, yeah, there's one reason. There's yeah. one reason. No, um, you've definitely come to my house before and nothing's happened. <laughs> really? You want to start this? <laughs> sure. You really want? You don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to. Hey, you don't want to do this on my show. Hey, the, <laughs> the two of you. The two of you calm down. The two of you calm down. Let's like, change the subject. Yeah. I would love to. The two of you. I would, I would love to take on your fucking mummy pants, also. <laughs> yeah. By the way. By the way, how about those scratch? How about those? <laughs> your fucking extra from the thriller video jeans. Oh, I'm sorry. You have on oh, I'm next. sorry. What? What's up? What's up? I'm like your bell bottom. On. They are you have bell bottoms on. Yeah, I'm also. Is a, that in I'm now? I'm also a woman. I can wear stylish jeans. Oh, I'm sorry. You want me to wear Wranglers like Brett Varvey and Callan yeah, over here? What do you want me to do? When yes. you're 470 pounds of muscle, I would keep it simple. Keep it. I'm simple. sorry. They ripped. He <laughs> loves, doing legs. He loves fashion. They blew out the ass. Yeah. I've been doing legs and squatting with Ben Bruno. He's been All wearing. Right? He's been wearing nothing but jeans with holes in them. Is that, that a new strate- thing? Strategic holes. Apparently, he reads. Trying to get your girl to break up with you? My word. <laughs> <laughs> he reads GQ. <laughs> I'm telling you. You don't want to go down yeah, this I road. Do. I'm happy to. Both of you, calm <laughs> down. We are not going to turn this into Jerry Springer. I want you <laughs> both to take a deep breath. Fucking Fuck bring it. <laughs> I, would, I, I, will, will, I will change the to. subject. I would I'd, love I'd love to know what you're up to, but your Instagram does not tell me anything about what Nothing. you're up to. All right, everybody I have to relax. stop following you on Instagram. I'm going to need you guys Oh, to you relax. unfollowed me on Instagram? I have to unfollow you. Why? Because you don't like any of my shit. Well, well I, no, I don't follow you. Well, then I have to stop following you. When was the moment where you decided to unfollow me? I would like to know where you were. Probably four weeks ago. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. What happened? What was the photo that set Life. you off? I was thinking, I was like, you know what, man? It's all give and take here, and all I'm doing is liking her pictures. She doesn't even follow me. Fuck that noise. His feelings got hurt. Interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty Probably sensitive. Did. He's very sensitive. When the UFC, I know how sensitive Brendan is. When the UFC banned him, huh? he was like, oh, I don't care. And then he was like, oh, hmm. feelings were hurt. He doesn't like to not be liked. All right, I'm going to sit this one out. Yeah. But you guys have a lot of some bitch time. Let's just, <laughs> you, let's you, just you regroup always, here. Let's just, <laughs> There's a lot of love. You got there. a special coming Regroup. out, huh? <laughs> anyway, so HBO, anyway, find the kid HBO tour. Uh, dot com. Well, your HBO special, by the way, to shift gears, killing it. is killing it, I guess. Huh? Hey, let me ask you this, Wit. With a me. lot of female comedians, yeah. I feel like they <laughs> they me. they dress down. Like if they're an attractive person, they dress down because it can be distracting. Like mm. the advice I got from a comedian when we're doing these live shows, he goes, "Man, you're a big dude. Like big guys aren't funny with your tattoos. It's mm-hmm. distracting." Mm-hmm. So I always wear long sleeves and try to. Who told you that? He's wrong. People. Okay, that I I my 
I, not that I should be giving advice, but I would say just be yourself because mm-hmm. be authentic. Be the yeah. same person on stage as you are off stage. Yes. So for me, yes. Which I am. I just have a long sleeve shirt. I'm not saying I'm like. Everyone knows you have tattoos. No one's come to your show and being like, he said something that was really funny, but his tattoos are not going to last. Body off. They no one's see conscious him. like that. Yeah. Rogan has tattoos, that. doesn't he? Yep. He People covers laugh them. at Rogan. Interesting. I wonder why. There's a the school of thought they, that they says tell me it's the school of thought says my body is going to be distracting because I look Maybe. muscular and people the have a built-in assumption. The point is, assumption. is you uh, obviously are a very attractive female as a comedian. Not attractive enough for you. What's up? <laughs> you go, oh, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> you think I drove to Marina Del Rey not to fucking do this? <laughs> hey, let's all relax. <laughs> Whitney, I'll kill you. Anyway. Okay, I'm so sorry. No, I like this. No. I'm, I'm glad to do this if you want. You keep it down. Happy you to. keep it down. Let's get in their special. Let me go down that road if we want. Just There's watch some bombs. By the way, this is never way. gonna air, so please just watch my special. I want you guys to. I want. I want you guys. You guys can jab at each other, but it has to be. Here's the rule. It has to be subliminal, and it has okay. to be metaphor. Okay. No, okay. Okay. Be no, there, there would never be. That. Well, first of all, it's not like we're gonna. Yeah, I love her. She's one of my favorite people on earth. Yes. That's very it, true. That is true for sure. For sure. When I when I talked to uh, when you were going on Rogan, uh, Rogan and I were talking, <clears throat> and uh, he uh, you guys don't know each other that well, but you're going on a show, right? The yeah, pitch. I did a show. And he goes, uh, "What do you think of Whitney?" I said, and I'm not just saying this because you're here. I've said this yeah. many of times. Yeah. I said she might be the smartest person I know. Yes. Brace yourself. Yes. Well, I know the In kind fact, of people he, you hang out with, so the yeah, it doesn't mean slow. a lot. Yeah, I <laughs> hang out with you like a He doesn't hang out with like <laughs> so I see Sona Reed's books. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. he hangs out with the Pulitzer it's Steve Prize, Jobs. Like the Pulitzer Prize board. Um, okay, so but the distraction of being an attractive female as a comedian, because like Amy Schumer, it's oh, I'm fat girl, big girl, Whoa. check me out. What? Oh boy, <laughs> nothing. I'm not. Oh, you comedians, you talk about another comedian. It's like, hey man, that's her gig, <laughs> fat chick. Boys right. can't get a guy, blah, right. blah, blah. Right. We've heard it all before. Right. So a lot of girls dress down and play that up because that's funny. Being an attractive did, girl is tough. I definitely did in the beginning. Uh, I don't think of myself as like attractive. That's why I became funny. You I don't. do. Thank you. Um, but you no can't one, like yourself too much. That's for damn sure. Well, I think in the beginning I dressed down just because I wanted to neuter myself. I wanted to be like the guys. And I see stand-up more as a sport than as an art. Like mm-hmm. I'm very physical on stage. I'm in a hood. Like I'm very, I'm all business there. I can't be in heels. I can't be, in, it's just like not, I mean, you remember. I was yeah. doing four spots a night. Yeah. I was making out with you. I mean, yeah, I didn't right. have time to like so my, be my in piece, heels and a dress. Yeah. I had to wear pants. I'm proud of that move. Really, <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> yeah. I, if I, I wore a dress, we would have had sex so many times. Oh, <laughs> 100%. Pants Pick a spot on the wall. Shh. Shh, pick a spot on the wall. Whoopsie daisy. There's the truth. There's the truth. You keep throwing up. Here's a bag. I always carry a bag with me. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I still don't know how to answer that question, even though I feel like a, uh, I, I think the key is to just be authentic. And I've become more comfortable with myself. And uh, so I'm able to f- be a little more feminine. Because I think you see a lot of big time f- female comedians. And there's like this wave of female comedians like Amy Schumer, yourself, yeah. Eliza. Sarah, about Sarah it. Silverman, Chelsea Handler. I mean, there's well, they've been around for a long time. <gasps> okay, yeah. Okay. I'm talking about the new wave. Oh, copy that. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of them, like Amy Schumer, I think they dress her up. Like if you look at her HBO well, special. No they. I mean, she chooses what she wears. That's well, what there's she's a team for in. sure. Yeah. Yeah, but I've seen her. There's a marketing plan, 100. percent Yeah. So I, with a girl like her, it's different yeah. than with you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I choose what I wear. I, you know, I've seen Amy at the cellar, and she'll wear a dress on like a Tuesday. Mm. You know, I think that's just like who she is off stage. So I don't wear dresses really that much so to you it's just about either. being yourself yeah it's you're just not worried being, about it for me it's comfortable it's like i don't get, before i go on stage i don't dress unless i'm doing a special or something i don't like i'll like just wear what i wore to dinner earlier right. yeah. you know so you dress good though well 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 mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> see to, that's why i, I hang out smart people him. i was gonna correct him goddamn public the, the, schools the thing I, the thing about the, the, the there's, sports there's a yeah guy he majored in sports <laughs> but there's another thing <laughs> there's there's another thing about like people and comedians and people in general who dress down and women and stuff there's I something think pe- about i think people in general are dressing down but, but i think it's we not live in a society i live good. in a society Why not? Saying in la everyone's in flip-flops and exercise that's clothes. what i'm saying it's so not good I, mean. I don't think it's just comedians well what i'm saying is that when you when somebody tries to look their best which you you do and you do a great job of like you have the self-respect you look good you take care of it when i look at you now i go she's working out mm-hmm. and she's she just everything is is put together which on takes point. it takes effort but you're on point there is something about that <clears throat> when you try to look your best um especially in hollywood i feel in certain par- pockets of sort of performing arts where it's kind of looked down on 
where where the irony of not really trying fuck the that irony noise. Oh, yeah, I yeah. fuck that I mean, noise. I, I'm not really trying I'm not that's like more the yeah. alt I think community which for I me hate, I, which I, hate. I think when yeah. I go to the comedy store and I'm making $15 a spot and doing 15 minutes I treat a little bit differently than when I'm on the road and charging 80 to $150 tickets yeah. so I see comedy as a job the way I dress you know on stage if I'm gonna go in that the Venetian Vegas the way I would go into an office see, if I have an office job yeah. to, to me it's like if, if you're going outside whether you're doing a special whether you're headed to the studio whether you're going to lunch at whole foods you want to look your best i'm not saying so you why to, don't you i'm not saying you need well to me this is my best my <laughs> bad so I, i'm saying you you don't want to present to the world some bullshit product yes like right. i can't stand where i'm at the airport everyone's in sweats and flip-flops here's my theory is it a slumber what are we doing <laughs> yeah. i don't right. i don't think right. you should ever be uh less dressed up than your audience I, I agree with you. That's more sort of my thing. So if I'm in Vegas, I know people are going to be dressed up. And if I'm in a hoodie, I just look like a dick. I also think that there's this new thing of like, like it's a it's, yeah, $150 hoodies doesn't equal suit jacket. No, I agree. There's a new yeah, high-end James Purse. Yes. There's like $80 t-shirt is yep. not an Still Oxford, a $10 Oxford Still shirt. Yeah. Yes. So I think that LA especially has this like bougie casual wear thing happening. Yes. That is sort of tricky. I don't think it's a good move. I think it depends on what's authentic for you. I think like everyone. I just think present yourself. Like if someone tells me they're doing good, I, I think Rashad Evans told me this. Uh, I was going to fight and I had uh, oh, like a warm up suit on, and he goes, "Dude, you look like every other fighter who doesn't make money." He goes, yeah, yeah, People yeah, see yeah. for the first time you should be yeah. in a yeah. suit. You're yeah. a successful guy. Yeah. Wear a suit. From then on, I wore a suit every fucking yeah, well, time. Well, yeah. uh, shoes and nice clothes also make you feel different. They make you walk different. You know, Jeffrey Tambor said that the the from Transparent, yeah, you know, great yeah, actor. The greatest. And Jeffrey said that the when he works on a character, the first thing he thinks about. I'm I'm sorry if I'm misquoting him here, but he was my teacher, and he said something to the effect of. When he would find the shoes, like hmm. this character either wears leather soles or rubber soles, but it makes all the difference. And the kind of shoe and how tight it is, it, it speaks volumes on the character he was Interesting. playing. Interesting. I yeah. c uh, concur on this point, and I don't know if you ever do this, but so I have to write a lot at home, which requires yeah. a tremendous amount of discipline. And I think writing now is harder than ever because- mm -hmm. So much content. Because there's so much, well, you're also on a computer, which is the gateway drug to the internet and online yes. shopping and Amazon Porn. and texting and oh, all this I see shit. What you're so for me, when I write now, I get dressed and go into my office in my house because it's so easy to go from your bed and your pajamas yep. to online. Like and it's that. like it's just like a psychological thing yes. of like now I'm working. I, I, think I, I had a meeting that. with a with an agent and he was a bigger guy and he had on a sloppy suit. He was a great agent, but I didn't sign with him because of his shitty suit. Because mm -hmm. if you can't yeah. take care of yourself yeah. and that's not important to you. The details of my contract. And you represent and my me. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, because well, the way typically that is indicative of a, well, the of way a you habit, do yeah. anything is the way you do everything. The way yeah. you buy a suit. Is as the way soon you as I meet me. someone, especially if they're in a, a position of power, I'll look at the way they're dressed, their shoes, their I'll look at everything. And get, the way you dress is a form of manners on some level. You well, know it means what means mean? you give a fuck and you have discipline. Yeah. Form of manners is exactly yeah, right. Yeah, but there is a level of sometimes. I mean, I'm auditioning actors now. Sometimes someone comes in and it's like. A little desperate. I'm like, oh, I tried too hard. There's this visceral reaction. So Again, think, if that's him, though, sure, fucking I think it's just do about, it, man. I think it's just about getting it right. So I find that if a girl is in heels and a uh, skirt and whatever, I don't want to dress like that on stage because I do know, and it's not about being pretty. I think it's about any girl. I do not want a guy bringing his girlfriend to a show and the girl's like, oh, she's trying to steal my man. Like, I don't... Yeah, I, that's, Girls is a really big part of my thing. Girls, yeah. girls is different. And I, I do want to make girls feel comfortable. Not that I have the ability to intimidate every girl. That's not what I'm saying. No, I, mean. I don't care about distracting guys. I care more about distracting girls. Right. Because I'm know? super distracted right Because we're... <laughs> I'm wearing a sports bra, uh, Brian. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Take it down a notch. You're wearing a burlap sack. I'm wearing, wearing right an Under Armour sports bra. I want to commit gross infidelity right now. Sorry, <laughs> wife. She listens. Like there's such a thing as she like listens. sanitary infidelity? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the good kind of infidelity. Well, I think gross as in big fit infidelity. Yeah. Oh, like a large, I suppose, yeah. to like small, like cute ones. Gross as in French. I speak French. I got a question for you as he keeps giving compliments. Uh, I got a question for you, sure. Whitney. Is... Uh, so many comics are going on Netflix now. We talked a little bit about this. You're special on HBO. How did you decide between HBO and Netflix? Because every like every kind of major comedian is on Netflix, right? Like yes. that's the new thing. Yeah, yeah. So um, HBO, you know, is sort of like a rite of passage in a way. It's sort of like a what's the thing you get? Is it a laurel? Um, is that an expression? 
a rite of passage. Right, or it's just like a, it's just like yeah, like all the greatest HBO specials. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, and, it's a big deal. And milestone. Milestone. Yes. And so, and For they sure figure out faster. You too. Sorry. They choose. <laughs> they choose. Um, uh, very few people. So it was like a, an honor, and you know. And how do they? How do they choose it. that? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many comedians out there. How do they choose that? Are you taking a selfie? Cute. She's she's recording. Um, I am, I know I'm trying to distract from this because it feels too like <clears throat> self-aggrandizing. And why don't you answer for me, Brian? Because he doesn't have any. Special well, I know, HBO, but he can tell Whitney. me why I'm impressive, so I don't have to say no, it and but sound I think, like a narcissist. I I'm not asking that. I, you're super talented. I get why no, you're on HBO. I'm saying, <laughs> how, like, how's it? How do they make the choice, Whitney, over someone else? First of all, she's got a built-in audience. Second of all, she's funny, which is she's a female, and she's funny and good-looking. Those are three pretty rare things. Stunning, okay. Stunning. And stunning. those are three rare things. It, but is it a female movie on HBO? Because Amy Schumer's special, on and on then HBO. you went, right? Yeah, yeah, they did us this year. I mean, HBO does... So was it like, hey, female power, and then Amy Schumer, you? I don't know. I mean, I had a deal with HBO. Like, I did a big deal with them. So I did a series deal, and then I did a special deal. So I'm doing, like, a pilot and probably series with them if everything goes to plan so i think it was just like an overall deal so i can't work for netflix oh because they're in yeah. direct competition with each other's i mean i talked to each other's it. i talked to netflix about it um their model and money didn't work for me that makes sense you know but you that know makes sense. But I, maybe hbo is more exclusive right it's just, yeah, it's just a little more look at their look at their shows of a even though netflix is badass pedigree if, if, if everybody's on netflix and you, they have three specials a year on hbo Oh no! And then, uh, HBO. HBO is definitely it's a more exclusive. Yeah, yeah, like it's it's time. just yeah, it's a dream, you That's know. Cool. And I, I mean, who knows what it's going to be next year? It's like I remember. So my last special I did on Comedy Central, I had a long talk with your homie Kevin Hart, yep. and uh, I was like trying to decide should I do Netflix. It was sort of in the um, embryonic stages of Netflix. Was it? Yeah. Everyone was doing it, mm -hmm. and I talked to him, and I was like, should I do it on Netflix? Should I release it like Louis did, just online? Should I? on Comedy Central and he was like Comedy Central 90 million homes Netflix numbers aren't released yet da 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 just do Comedy Central I was like right. you know what I'm gonna do it that's like where I started they gave me a free job I did Comedy Central I was so uh, uh, at peace with the decision I was so psyched to promote like I'm back on Comedy Central 10 o'clock on Saturday night by the time I promoted it six months later I'm like oh it's on Saturday at 10 and people are like when's it on Netflix yeah. like when's it on like yeah, the idea of change that fast. It shit was is that fast. So fast. It was like when it, can it is it available to me when it works for me. I know because yeah. I don't. People want it like on demand on their mm, schedule. Yeah, like that's why podcasting took over radio. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, because radio, you know, if, let's say we did this every morning at nine o'clock. Doesn't matter. Well, some people aren't going to be able to listen to it. Now you can. The reason podcasts kind of took over that, and why a lot of radio hosts hate podcasts yeah. is because people can listen to whenever they want. They can stop, start it, work it out, whatever. At the gym, at the whatever. Really, it's whenever like, you want. Well, the only intent of you television now is sports, which is why they get so much money. That's, that's the only true. thing Correct. people watch when it's – and the we voice actually does. Yeah. But you, I can watch a football game on Saturday if it's on Thursday, but I'm going to know with Twitter and all that's that other idea. stuff. So you have to watch that's it very true. when it's on. And it's also, you know, why when, you know, it's like, hey, did you see Breaking Bad? Don't tell me! It's yeah, like yeah. this new thing where people are, you know, such yeah. spazzes. Yeah, I fucked up. You know, but you have to create sort of this imperative it, to watch. It's changed dramatically since we've been in the business. I mean, Dramatically. Changed, you know, it like, used to be network television. That was the thing. The TV. I was here in 95, 96. Black and when, white. When there was a pilot season. <laughs> it was black and white. Black and and white. We're talkies. Silent films. Talkies. Yeah. Him and Charlie Chaplin going. But there was a way to do things, and there were three major players. There was no cable. Well, was, now, now, but now the digital space is so big. Like YouTube stars, all that stuff. Digital yeah. space. They don't is, even have to be stars. Oh, no. They're, they're these, just these little bastards. Yeah, these little bastards are huge. Yeah. No, I, okay. I had, a meeting, I had the me a meeting the other day, and I'm like, you should have seen this kid in his entourage. I mean, he has on these, they're like these gold glasses, yeah. crazy, you know, purple He'll be dead hair. soon. Yeah, yeah for that's sure. a good news. And I go, <laughs> that's a good news. They're the new child stars, I feel like. And they're late, and I go, and they walk out. I'm like, who the fuck is that? And he goes, oh, that's that kid from YouTube. These, this little bastard, maybe 19, just killing the game. Yeah. And he goes, you know how much that guy's worth? Just off YouTube. It's making millions You know what? I want to meet someone from RedTube. Then I'll be impressed. Now you're talking. YouTube, well, we can make We've had him on. We've had him on. Um, okay. Here, I met a girl. And I didn't meet her, actually. Um, she, there's this girl out of London. Her name is Zoella. She has the number two best-selling book after the number one best-selling book ever, which is? Oh, the, the Gift or The Secret? 
Oh, Fifty Shades of Grey? Oh. The Bible. Oh, the Bible. Oh, is number God. one. Oh, okay? Yeah, that makes sense. She's number two. Way to go, guys. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Fifty Shades? The book killed me. Not a bad The book killed me. Easy, Harry buddy. Harry Potter. Not bad, yeah. <laughs> that might be hey, what, your number one best you selling book. I said the, fifth, gift. Uh, the, the gift. The what secret. The secret. The secret. I said Fifty Shades of Grey. We read. You too. Uh, I would really. I, pa- I pass it on your fucking book club. Yeah. And uh, and I watched one of her videos because I'm casting something and I kind of want this YouTube. And she says, I mean, she's talking to the camera, talking about going to the pharmacy and getting, she's like, I was going to go get um, red blush. And then I decided I was going to get lip balm. Then I was like, ah, I need lip balm. So like, I'm going to get some, cr-. and I was like, well, where's the joke? Where's the narrative? There's no art. There's not, it's just rambling. I mean, you guys at least have some sort of a modicum of, something to your rambling yeah yeah you at least have a thread and you have a thing and a dynamic and you have tattoos and you're you know funny and you sing and yeah sing pull your dick i got a heavy heavy piece even in a car when it's sitting on my lap he assaults women have you guys seen each other's dicks before you've earned it huh he sent me a dick video yesterday i sent him a picture of a video me working out go any i always i go any fucking questions brian working out a lot it's me like doing some crazy workout it's a picture of his face he goes don't ever send me a stupid fucking workout video. And then just scrolls down to his dick. And he goes, is this weird, man? It's hanging low today. <laughs> like dead yeah. serious. Does that mean long? Hanging yeah. long? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. hangs low. We Here's do that thing. all the time. I sent when him. I saw it, it wasn't. The, what, what happened? Well, you, so when you saw it, he was probably 10 hot. <laughs> No, you said it, it wasn't, wasn't, man. Those even. were the glory days, I feel like. Those were the glory days. Now, those were the, now days. the poor little guy just coughs dust. <laughs> um, Limbs along. All those warts. Um, what? Too much. Um, yeah, Too I, 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 I think we've seen each other's piece a great deal. It's yeah, man. Always, you yeah. don't become best friends so and not see their dick. Really? It's kind of a rite of passage. That's First time I was taking a piss, I didn't even know him. He was looking over. Oh, because like when you go He's to the bathroom looking over or and he goes, when you... I go, what are you doing? He goes, I'm just making sure. I want to see what you're working with. That's all. That's what he said to me. See what I'm up against. Well, yeah. I just want to. He talks about this dick all the time to see what the big been, fuss been, was about. We've been dating ever since. I wonder, are guys? You couldn't say you had a big dick if you didn't. You can be like my big dick. No, like guys you have to be able to back it up. Guys do all the time. Guys do guys do all the time. Yeah. It's like the same guy who uh, talks about fighting, like his background in fighting. Yeah. He it's usually like, oh, can't to, fight, and usually has a small yeah. The dick. more someone talks about it, they the less guys they, with big dicks really don't talk. We talk about it to be funny, yeah. But the guys talking about how tough he is, it, you probably isn't very tough, yeah. Talks about how big his dick is. It's probably not that big. That's right. Mm-hmm. And by the way, dick size is very important to guys because it's all about way territory. more important to guys than it is to girls. Because it's territory. You think? I've, I've isolated yeah. why. I've isolated I disagree why. with Brian on this. We want to. We want to think. See, here's the problem. I think guys are very territorial. Mm-hmm. Guys climb mountains. So Hundred percent. It's a there. primordial. They, uh, alpha. I've been there. You haven't. If yes. somebody's got a longer dick and he's been further down your road, I he's never hit think about we that. Haven't hit. A lot of guys I th- oh, you mean like a girl uh, that has slept with two people? If he's hit. You, I think it's who's. I, I mean, if I'm gonna compare, yeah. I'm gonna say who gave me more orgasms. I it doesn't matter how. Or I'm how saying how it's male psychology is like, really deep. Can you can get a UTI? I, mean, I know, but this guy's thinking. This guy just she, he, he he punched her, and I can only poke her. Like whatever it is, he's, See, I don't he's stretched I don't her farther. I'm sorry to be crude, but that's how guys think. Like he I, he's been deeper, and she was had more pleasure, and she was more overwhelmed. But that deeper doesn't mean more pleasure. I know, but that's how guys think. But you know, I'm telling you, I'm listen, refuting I have to, it. I have I'm to draw debunking a line with it. Lipstick on how far I can go in. <laughs> See, I don't think that's it because I think any knowledgeable guy knows that a longer dick isn't always doesn't mean better. I don't know. This is my bro science, bro. I'm just telling you. I mean, if you think that that way, it's valid. But that's I don't think. Well, I just no, I think I'm, any educated guy knows that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, think knows. so at all. Big huge. It's if not the, about the guy education. Before you, if a guy's been dating a girl and he's got a fucking. Don't He's give a fuck. He's got a baby's arm. Literally could give two fucks. Yeah, but you, you're different. But you yeah. also have a big a dick. Of, you, you're also a so big guy. But it's, not, but big it's guy. not like. You're also a big guy. If, if the dude and you are and you have a dick and you don't know how much she enjoyed that. Like she might have come like in your mind. You're like oh, he made her come five times a night and he all he had to do was put it in and she could barely take That's it. That's impossible. She, guys That's freak not out. Possible. Guys, but guys see those images. That's for example. That's why. That's because like too many Rogan, women have faked it with you. Yes. No, but no, but Rogan. Well, well, they sing. But Rogan, <laughs> Rogan was talking about. I don't know where he got I the just stat. Doing but stand-up. There's a huge, huge uh, market for interracial porn in some of the more racial states. Yeah, in the South. He was saying this. I don't yes. know. If it's, no, it's but, true. But there's there's a reason for that. Guys are outraged and turned on at the same time, and all that stuff, and th- in I direct think, competition. Well, I think if guys have like huge insecurities, that's where it comes into play. Sure, but a lot of guys are very insecure. Sexually, right? True. Most people, most people are very insecure sexually. I think, 
because it's a vulnerable place to be. I, I think that, that the definition of sex has with it some form of insecurity because that's why we flip out. That's why we get jealous. That's why, you know, all those things. Well, happen. you know, most species, the males have to fight each other mm-hmm. to have sex with the female. 100%, yeah. You By know way, what I mean? And men do. I mean, if you try this Not right now this in 2016. Age. Try looking at a guy's girl in a lascivious manner at a bar and see what that guy does. You do that in <sighs> certain parts of the country, you're going to get in a fight still or you're going to or words are going to be exchanged i think people just really want to hit you and they yeah, look I, for an they excuse they might tough. I, even I you who's not a, if, i mean you're I, not a macho guy if somebody comes up to your girl and says something like no one would ever do that know, this day and age guys don't dude, do if that they did and i know but if they did I agree, you would I be you would have to school him you'd be I disrespected you'd have to well, say you something to you him go to jail I'm sure the but answer, I think we live in a day and age where no one wants confrontation, so think, they're gonna do it when I walk by. But I think nope. you're. I think I think you. I I agree with Brian on the. I'm sorry. I agree with you on the long dick thing. But I agree with. I don't think that you can necessarily relate to this because I don't think anybody wants confrontation with you, and I don't think you probably have ever had that experience. I think you're oblivious to the idea of people flirting with other people's girl because I'm sure you've never had that. Yeah. Because number one, you won't admit someone's your girl. But other than that. Um, <laughs> In general, well, yeah, I uh, it's hard to if they're dating multiple people. You know, it's tough, man. No, I think it's hard that you. It's just, tough when you're dating someone, then they get flowers at their house while you're there. It's like a big. Well, and then all of a cake. sudden you check the other guys. All right, super okay. weird. Okay. Because then you're, these are all hypothetical no, no, situations. But it would be weird if you're dating someone and then they get a huge bouquet of flowers, <laughs> and then it's like, hey, listen, well, I, I didn't know that was going to be all, this. It's all hypothetical. Because, and then they get mad at you they because didn't. you find out they're dating someone else, and then you're dating someone. It's a weird situation. Well, it's just hard to tell if you're dating someone. If you don't put them on your Instagram at well, all, this, look, this, I agree. This is all. <laughs> hey guys, this is all hypothetical stuff. But but, but uh, keeping on the theme. Of also, I'm not female, a fucking liar. Male female <laughs> dynamic. No, hey, you're not a liar. You just don't say shit. You're not a liar. Hey. Just show up to your house. Hey guys, what is this? Am I Jerry Springer? What the hey, fuck is going fucking on? fucking two hours late and be like, where the fuck do you live all the way out here? <laughs> I've, I've and then never don't try. Your impression and then, talk. <laughs> I love how girls make impressions of how guys talk. That's my my wife is always like. <laughs> <laughs> that is how Brendan <laughs> talks. Though. That's not how I talk. By the way, no, it says <laughs> for sure don't live out here. <laughs> well, that was the first time. After that, I was for sure, sure obviously don't live out here. <laughs> sure, obviously. Who's the hottest man in Hollywood for you? The one man that you like, Michael Fassbender. Who's the hottest I'm guy? Not like Michael that. Fassbender. That's I'm like I a, actors. Know, where actors don't turn me on just because I know they wear makeup. Athletes. What about athletes? Hard for me to take them seriously. Uh, no, uh, I'm done with athletes. <laughs> 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 really? This podcast. really definitely done with athletes that's interesting yeah yeah <laughs> probably smart <laughs> very, probably very smart i, almost very smart. Coffee I might not be it's just you can't see you might not of, be you never know uh, yeah you never know who i'm dating i mean there wouldn't be any reflection of it they would my, have no my idea my instagram yeah, page you know, you could. um <laughs> i could be like in a relationship with someone you would never know Uh-oh. um hello hey, Come on in. Uh, uh, athletes. Um, it's trouble. Athletes are trouble. Uh, yeah, athletes are definitely trouble. Um, any any celebrities trouble though, Hello. Whitney? Hello. Uh, I a- agree. I'm any celebrities 100%. trouble. What's up, brother? I have a thing where hi. hi I have a thing where super professional vibe in here. Um, <laughs> I have a thing Welcome where. Welcome to Brian Count Show. I know. Please, do you guys want to? Do we need to? Um, did you yes, just? I were you see, just yes, working I out? What is? Could you? We just talked about the way people dress. They were playing dress tennis. They were playing here. tennis. Oh, okay. Um, what, do you have any reservations on dating a, yes. a, a famous guy, a yes, celebrity? I do for sure. Why? Because I think in order. Before you answer, don't you think like a celebrity doesn't need Whitney Cummings money or celebrity? You know what I'm saying? Like they don't need to be associated with you. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I th- here's my thing. I think that in order to become a celebrity, you have to have a certain level of narcissism and a need for attention. You have to be super attention. selfish. Yeah. yeah. You have to be very selfish. We've talked about this. And you have to have a need for attention and to be heard. You have a lot of testosterone. I mean, it's just in general, I do think it's a red flag. I think living in LA is a red flag for me. Um uh. It's killing over here um <laughs> but uh so yeah for me personally that doesn't work because i think two people in the business and t- it's just it's tricky i've had bad uh luck with that i don't think that 
Um, because well, one person could be doing well and, and with celebrity. that's the thing Fuck, it, 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 your success as long as it's in the same echelon I think you're usually fine but if one person goes to the next echelon it There's just jealousy? gets a little bit not weird not if you're dating the right person I feel like Maybe. no but one person might be stressed you're going away to work the other person's here why don't you, you tell us you're dating the right person somebody? why don't you let us know how it works <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, moving on. Hey, moving on the segue. Let's move on to the segue. Hey, let's uh, guys, so what else? So, so what is the name of the special? No, I'm just saying Brendan obviously knows a lot no, of this No, you topic. must be killing it with the some, dating scene. I need scene some advice from you. you. you, you so are dating. You, you're I dating am, a doctor. I am dating uh, a doctor who is not in the business, What kind of obviously. doctor is He's, he? Uh, I'm not going to get into but who he lives, he is. But he lives far away. He lives in Portland. Out of touch, of course. Good. Yeah. So there's oh, perfect. So you never see him, so you do your thing. And then you like just Skype? Uh, <laughs> sort of. That's sex? smart. Yeah. Have you ever had sex on Skype? I, uh, I mean, it's not sex. But, but face, FaceTime. Uh, face, uh, so, Facebook. So, yeah. hey, so, in, so instead of a re- real relationship, you have a pen pal. You said, uh, fuck day in LA. I'm going to... LA's Forget Tinder. To I'm just going to have a pen pal who lives in Portland. Well, I go, I see him every week. Are you on Tinder? Which is uh, probably how often you see someone you live with. Uh, <laughs> were, you on, were you on Tinder? <laughs> no. Well, at I'm least <laughs> if you get roses at your house, he doesn't know. <laughs> okay, I'm. Gonna <laughs> oh, do boy. you really want to fucking do, do this? Let's move this? on. Let's moving on. I'm gonna ask both of you to move on here. Now, listen. Should we go current events? Let's go to current events. Let's go to current events <laughs> with the beard. Um, wait a second. Pen pals are way easier. Though. I do think though that um, uh, space is good. I think it's. I think it's healthy. Yeah. Uh, on Maybe some. not three states over, but yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, we see each other every week. You, do. you know, for yeah. three days. Good. I'm I, I, I'm work. good in it small works. doses. It works. It yeah, works. That, yeah. Works. that makes sense. I think I it's mean, also it's like you don't get because I do the more I study like neurology and and neurochemistry is when you start getting physical with someone you release all this oxytocin and dopamine and you get attached to someone before you really know who they are. That's yeah, called love, Whitney. Uh, no, I yeah. Know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> if you're hitting it hard, what do you got? If you're hitting it hard. It's called love. Those endorphins. It's not, called love for some well, people. I, no, but, yeah, but, but I think it's important. To, I think it's important to know who somebody is before you yes. fall in love with them yes. because I've been. That's in a situation. why pen pal makes sense. Yes, so you get to know them, and then you're like, okay, I'm not. I'm not going to waste well, you know, my, come years on, down on someone who I find out is like a sociopath. Yeah, come on down from. Yeah, my my wife has been. My I travel a lot, and when I'm home too long, my wife is like, "You got to get the fuck out of here because I I like you in smaller doses." Yeah, yeah. So that's healthy. We dated well, because my yeah 14 years ago. Oh. When I was 19. Coming back around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that's good, too. It's already someone who knew me before I did what I did yeah. and doesn't care what I do and is not impressed by doctor. me at all. It's kind He's of sexy. a doctor. Well, it's funny because um, he'll be like, how was your day? And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should do this script. And like, I can't find this actor. How was your day? And he's like, well, almost Saving lost two lives, babies. Bitches. Saved them. Yeah. I'm like, you go first next time. Yeah. Saved them. <laughs> Saved them. Like, Saved two Saved babies. Lives. Yeah. He's just like a hero. Oh, dude. I was, I was making fun. My kids had this little birthday party thing, and I. And you have this, kids? I didn't realize you were public about that. I have two children. <laughs> I have four and seven. You will watch your tone, <laughs> you fucking instigator. And uh, there's these, there, these, this, these turbo dorks, <laughs> these turbo dorks, this couple. This guy was. Turbo this, dorks. Oh my god, he was this giant Asian guy, and his girl was just. They were dorks. He was wearing these shorts with these, and I was. <laughs> I'm such a dick that I'm going. Look at these, and I'm not even like this. I go. Look at these dorks. <laughs> Look at their posture, and I'm and I'm coming up with scenarios, and I'm making fun, and I keep going. Have you seen my script? I'm trying to write my script. Turbo dorks. Do you know who I can cast? <laughs> ha, ha, I'm making all my whole group laugh. Now I freak out, and I go, I gotta ask them like, what they did. Well, he was a trauma surgeon. Uh, and yep. She was a trauma nurse, mm-hmm. and I'm a I'm a loser. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, yeah. well, no, he specializes. They can still be dorks. He specializes in children, and he saves children's that's lives. Like, no, that's and all I'm a loser, and I'm a loser. Yeah. And then I was eating out of his hand, and he was bored with my question as well he should be yeah. so what, what, did he, what happens when a bone breaks he was like oh get away from me mm-hmm. I was He's like, like I fix it and then I th- then I, I was so sad pathetic that I, I go I'm an actor and I, I'm a comic too trying to I've get him to like ask me I've acted like a doctor a couple yeah, times yeah trying to get him to ask me but he had no interest in me so mm-hmm. I, I, I sculpted away. let's go to some current events what oh. do you got Evan the Cub the beard <laughs> we call Evan the Cub by He's the way cub. laughter is the best medicine it is it is. so I it think is. we won everything. that round I think we did mm. you have been fantastic already oh am I leaving now no. no, we're going oh, to turn no, about. I don't know where that anywhere. came from. Oh, no, because I, I was so hoping you would definitive. catch my eyes. I hope you'd catch my don't, eyes and we'd get lost together. Mm. You guys. <laughs> That's scary? Dude, we That's don't scary? Do it. Wait, side note. 
one time I remember saying to you, just it was like a long time ago, and I go like this. You were talking, and said, I don't know what to do right now, and I go, we could fuck. And you literally went, you went, yuck. <laughs> you went, yuck, and, and ran away from me. It was at the comedy store. I was like, hey, a put the fuck off. Ran, ran off. Literally, she went, yuck, and ran away. I don't remember that. Because I was half serious. All right. What do you got, Evan? <laughs> All right. First thing we got for today. We got today. some good ones? Yeah, I think we got some good ones today. First one that we got coming out is uh, Ronda Rousey openly admitting that she okay. had suicidal thoughts following her loss to Holly Holm. Mm. Tough. What'd you you want to take this one, Brandon? <laughs> Maybe you should take this one. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I mean, I'm Snapchatting. Uh, it's a bummer, man. Um, I, I saw the interview. It, hey, thank God she has a man, you know, and I, I, she said... What? Like, what does that have to do with anything? Listen... Listen, listen, she had suicidal sh thoughts and she was like, listen, I'm going to kill myself. There's no reason going on living. And then her man walked in the locker room and she's like, you know what? There's more to fighting than this. I should have babies with this guy. The reason I'm going to keep living is because I want to have babies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's why it's important. It so up. thank God for Travis Brown and her. This is what happens when people identify themselves just as one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like if you identify yourself as just a football player or just the fighter and then shit goes south, you're fucked, man. You're super fucked. And for her, uh, you know, fighting is her place of happiness. Wasn't so she also doing movies and stuff though? Not well, really. Well, kind of. She was like, no. you know, like you know, cameo. She was playing herself. It's different. It's not like she's yeah. not fucking. Daniel and a lot more movies she, than Callan and I. She, yeah. She's not, she's not Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> bigger like, she's bigger movie herself. career than me. <laughs> By choice. I don't, I don't want yeah. I mean, I passed on all the stuff that she did. Makes sense. Anymore. But you know what I'm saying? When you when That's you point, when you label yourself just as a fighter yeah. and that goes away and then yeah. you don't have an identity. Yeah. Man, and with her past, with her dad coming suicide and. Some other mental uh, so issues. So it's like it's a, a, it's a big deal. Well, because I was going to say well, good that. Good thing for Travis Brown. I thank guess. God for that. And hopefully they have 50 kids, man. Their kids will be. I want one of those kids. Talk I'll about. I will take one right talk now. Talk about first round round draft picks. Jesus. Anyway. I'm going to set this one out. Yeah. All right, but you know what you know what I'm saying. Like if if you identify yourself just as a comedian and your HBO special bombed, you're going to be screwed. Being suicidal is it's a mental condition. Uh, yes, it. I'm sure. I mean, for most people, it precedes any success or failure or that sort of stuff. So it's like I'm going to kill myself. I'm so bombed. Is different than like I, most people who say they're going to kill themselves don't just cry for help. Yes, most people who you know people who really want to kill themselves just do it. And they don't tell anybody because they don't want to be stuck. And, that's and what I'm mental saying. issues. Yeah, then it's a serious matter. So it's but it's you know I don't know. It's like a bigger thing. And to say it's about like one issue as a catalyst, I think it's more of like a you know Despite. I don't think it's just having a bunch of different jobs. She, it's gonna she, fix it. I think it's like medication fixes 100%, it. Hundred percent. You need to see a therapist. Yeah. I don't. I don't think just saying, "Oh, Travis is here. We're all good. We yeah. have kids." Yeah. I think you need to go see a fucking doctor. Yeah. And people because it's just it. like band aids. A man. Hundred percent. Because I hate to tell you, that's probably not the answer for your happiness either. Yeah. When you have kids, that's probably not gonna be your happiness. Yeah. There's you thought you were suicidal before. Have yes. five kids. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's for damn sure. Yeah. It's tough, man. Yeah. That's um, a bummer because I've lost f huge fights before. Here's my question. Never once was I like, damn, it's all over, man. I'm going to end it. Yeah. Huh? I was like, but I, I wonder what this. the difference yeah. is. I think where my brain goes is like, you know, 15 years ago, you lose a fight and you move on. Now it's like memes and social media and it's replayed Especially in front of you. Yeah, exactly. When you're that famous. Especially for it's like yeah. you can't just fail anymore without it being a zeitgeisty Every day. movement. Every day. Meme and you know, like you become a highlight reel and you, yeah, you become a punchline basically. Yeah. And it's also to be that successful and amazing. People like, Ooh, it's like, no, she could still fucking kick all of your asses whenever she wants. Except for Holly Holm. Except yeah. for Holly yeah. Holm. Yeah. Except for the one girl. Yeah. And it's a tough, uh, that's the game. That's that fight. That's the game. Well, it's the like, fight it's game like, is different because you get n literally kicked in your head. Yeah. Well, that's it's, that, well, you're talking about physical pain, but it's, it's the same thing with an actor, like name a famous actor who just can't get a job right now. Yeah. Yeah, but there's it's, a lot of them. Yeah, the, but you the, the, failure is not as uh, uh, black on and display. White. It's not as black yeah. and white. But you don't see someone pass out. You, you're in the business. You're in the business as in as in you are dealing with some of the bigger like brass and decision makers. Mm -hmm. Who in your mind there are certain actors who have you seen who've had these kind of precipitous drops? Like there, I'm trying because I always get reminded of somebody it's a good said question. to me. Yeah, somebody because me, it comes to you the other day, like Russell Crowe. Yeah, somebody like, said to me, "What the fuck happened?" But you know what it is? It's also like you know, and this is probably why it's uh, get, is so revered, and you guys get so much money. But it's like when you're a fighter, it's all on you. When you do a movie, oh, did you say money? 
I'm sorry. I don't There's know. No or endorsement or whatever I it is. It. I mean, I don't know. It's like, on you. I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, she makes my, champion, It's yeah. all on you. If you win, it's all on you. If you lose, it's all on yeah. you. If you do a movie or a TV show, it's the director. It's the other actor. That was it's, moving parts. It's not just you yes. that failed. But so, it can be just you who's maybe you're hard to, you're difficult to work with. Sure. You're an egomaniac. Sure, but if your movie bombs, it's not like your career is completely yeah. over. Right. Um, right. Whereas when someone sees you get knocked out, you could have won 50 times before that and you're just true. as good as your that's last true. defeat i mean that's just fucking all of it's that's sports though that, there's yeah. a saying in hollywood your career can be over and you don't know it for 20 years that's well so that's the problem with acting it's, um, it's not black and white like i'm like ah i'll keep going you know yeah. no one's telling you hey man it's fucking over i mean <laughs> I, you know maybe just because i'm thinking about it because we're in comedy i feel like carlos mencia was like he was fucking doing he was two huge. hours at the well, comedy first all, store. First of all, he got found out for not, first of all, being Mexican, for being half German. German. The internet. His you real name is Ned Holdness. Like, I don't even know. Awesome. When the Latin community See, found that funny. out, they were like, I'm not going to his fucking shows anymore. You're, you're pe- pulling yourself off as Carlos Mencia. That's not, and, and he's had a, it's been, a, and then with the, what, when Rogan outed him. Right, at the comedy that, store, I remember It that. was not good for him. He was the guy. He was so big. But how about... With the internet, like you said, when you're writing, you don't want to go down that road of YouTube and all that and Facebook. But even as a comedian now, anything you do, people compare. Oh, she stole it from this guy. Well, yeah, yeah. that was a reference in 1960. I was saying yeah, that about yeah. Schumer. So like with yeah. Schumer, yeah. if you look at some of her stuff, I don't think it's all on her. A lot of it's her writers. A lot of her, maybe because she's young, yeah, her writers, writers are like, hey, I get this idea. She just yeah, didn't know. Like, yeah, you let's don't do know it. if your writers are Yeah, she was like, that's brilliant. But yeah. it's, a, it's a team. I also People don't, don't understand yeah. it was a team. Know. It's not all her. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know Schumer well, but but I, I watched that video. And for me, I just feel like a lot of it was just, she'd been around comedy and a lot of it just creeps into your subconscious. But man. I also, I, I haven't seen the video, so I, I can't really yeah. speak to it. I'll but send I, it to you I do know, um, I'm good. Uh, I can look it up myself. No, you need to. Uh, <laughs> I blocked your email. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll FaceTime it to you. No, thanks. Apparently, that's what you do now for relationships. <laughs> you know, I'll create a profile on Tinder and get it to you. Oh, maybe. Damn. We're not a match. <laughs> um, okay. We'll see. So, okay. This is my favorite, is my we'll favorite podcast. Oh. Um, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, I'm sure you will. Um, I'm okay. catfishing you. I'm, I'm the guy in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> he's the doctor. I'm the doctor. Oh, he's the I mean, doctor. I'm to be honest. I'm the doctor. No wonder you wear your lab coat I don't think, yeah, and that I stethoscope. Say, I, don't, I don't think doctors. I'm the doctor. I remember I saved those kids. I lied. And that light on your head. <laughs> uh, the doctors don't wear King Tut's jeans. Because <laughs> they can't pull ah, them off. Because the they can't King, pull them off. King Tut's jeans. You mummy. It's <laughs> um, a good joke. Okay. I'm sorry they're on. not dockers. Sorry. <laughs> Enjoy that. Keep, keep going though. <laughs> Oh, um, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry it's I not mean, a Tommy what? Bahama I'm, shirt and dockers. Hey, I, way to go though. Portland. Your Let me guess girl white as shit. Because I'm a freak I'm a girl's girl, so your girl's off limits, but it's really pissing me off. I'll text you the insults later. Please. <laughs> um <laughs> I'll I can't, I can't, because I know she listens keep to going, this. I know going. she pretends she doesn't, keep but she, she's, 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 she's she's on her fifth loop of this one. This exactly. is gonna be. I can't wait till you have to have this fucking fight. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me? It's gonna going. ruin your life. Keep you, going. You hey, think, hey, you think your me. doctor buddy fuck doesn't you. listen to fuck any of this? Nothing. He's like, ah, oh, fuck. He, Watch when you go to Portland next week. Fuck. He's gonna have fucking no, porn jeans, no. tattoos. <laughs> like, what's up? He's saving lives. What happened to your doctor? Girl is watching Kim Kardashian. I've seen ER too. I'm gonna create crazy stories while your ass is in. LA. <laughs> he's not doing shit. Yeah. All right. He's prescribing aspirin. Uh, next, uh, Hold on. No, I'm not done with the. Um, I Schumer? remember. I remember that when um, Carlos Mencia and uh, Homeboy, it was Ari Shafir's thing of Joe like Rogan. the joke yes. was. Oh yeah, and they were juxtaposing the jokes. You know, uh, we oh, need yeah. to build a wall between here and Mexico, but who's going to build a wall? Build it, yeah. Everybody thought of that joke. Any yeah. comedian's brain, any smart, funny person. Not that I'm saying that I, I'm not saying if someone stole or not. I can't ascertain that. I was you were around that time yeah. more, but. That was just a bad example. A uh, lot of jokes, all comedians' brains. No, I, go I think there. in Carlos Mencia's case, I think he was he stealing. Was, I think he was found out. And is it? Yeah. But I'm people, sorry, well, the Cosby, you know, the the Cosby jokes, I think, were the. Listen, listen, the, the and evidence, once people smell that, you're fucked. The audience go, "Oh hell no, it's, he's not it's, original." Well, it's interesting. It's, there's no reason to beat a dead horse, but he paid a very dear price for that kind of behavior. You yeah. used to be able to get away with it until the mm-hmm. internet. 
Yeah. It'll you know? get you. Yeah. yeah. Because it was like, yeah. it's like, you it's also s- short sighted, right? Like you're not going to make a long career. George doing Lopez that. will tell you. I mean, there are too many stories of Carlos Mencia. And, and I just about. can't. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get in the mind of like something that's kind of sociopathic, but like, I can't imagine wanting to do someone else's material. You know what I mean? Ambition, like, ambition and shortcuts and people. Uh, but wouldn't you be paranoid? Because all I think yeah, about. Yeah, wouldn't you be freaked out? All I think about there? is the com- what the comics in the back think. Like, I if know. you're in the back of the club, I'm like, God, I hope Callum thinks this is I, funny. I, I like, that's that. how I think. Me too. That's how you really get funny. So I'm so concerned with what comics think about me that I just wouldn't. My, my thing is I just want to be as original as I can be. Yeah. So so if I'm being derivative, yeah. I write jokes that are derivative. Yeah. I write jokes that I know will do really well, and I don't do them because yeah. um, they've been done in yeah. one way or another. I guess it's probably like the equivalent of in sports, like the temptation to do steroids or take a shortcut in yeah. that element, right? Yeah. There's all that stuff, and you, you've sense. got to. It depends on what your value system is. If you are first and foremost ambitious and want to be the only person people are talking about, that's a little bit different than trying to be original in your expression. For me, yeah. the driving force has always been: I when I get up there, I want people to go, "I've never seen anybody do that," or right. something, a variation of that, or at least. What if I say, I, "Brian Callen, I'm watching you. I saw you do that same thing five years ago." You little bitch, <laughs> <laughs> little bitch. Which that's another fear of mine. I don't want to do yeah, the same to have stuff. Someone see you do the same I don't want to. I don't. That's why I'm. You, I think you always have to be writing. Like yeah. you know, my my friends here, my my best friend Jimmy Burke, who saw me do stand up for the first time ever, saw me do stand up. My this first. Is your time fault. This is your fault. Puppy. Yeah, Aww. I was a quivering puppy. So I was a cute quivering puppy. Don't ever talk to me that way again. And, uh, <laughs> but but you know. The idea is to continue to surprise yourself. Yeah, you know? I mean, I think you can. I think you can tell when someone's phoning it in and they're sick of their material. I think you can tell. I can't do it. I go yeah. crazy. Well, there's too much content, so the fans are going to know, right? And then just jump. That's the other thing. You build well, your also YouTube sell. and stuff now. You're I mean, flying to Phil. You'd fly to Philadelphia. You're doing the same shit. And there'd I, be three people. I have a whole new act. I I, I am so paranoid going back with. A, a whole uh, with the old jokes. It, it makes by the me way, crazy. you can't even. But it's not even. I did this joke in Philly. I can't do it again. Right. What if you did the Laugh Factory last week? You might not be able to do it in Philly because someone saw it online. That's true. So it's like you can't even do things that you haven't done in Philly That's before. That's true. Boom. It's tough. It's what else you got, Ev? All right, Brian. I think you'll like this since you're big into politics. A Supreme Court justice has died. Antonin Scalia passed away. Okay. Died of a heart attack. Um, and in his was, sleep, and they think that they found a pillow over his head. No, no, no. That this doctor has said, listen, he's had a history of heart uh, problems, and it, it was definitely natural causes. But he was a lion uh, uh, among the conservative. You know, he was a, a lion among conservatives. He was a true constitutionalist. He he followed the constitution very strictly, and uh, he was always the bulwark between because the court is very divided right now between essentially liberals and conservatives. <laughs> I mean, but his whole point, which I. I must say I disagree with is that the Constitution should be taken literally and all um, all the time, even though the conditions under which the Constitution was written is completely different than the conditions of today. Right. So back then we had just broken. For, we were at war. We had a revolutionary spirit. We needed guns. We didn't have street lights. We didn't have alarm mm. systems like but he still thinks that those rules should apply. Well, today. I, I, I think crazy. the debate's a little bit crazy. Thick. I think the debate's a little bit more complicated than that, obviously. And also, I, no, think, I don't think so. I, I also nope. think that um, we're done. Move on. That the Constitution wasn't written. How do you replace that, them? In the spirit of that. Who, who replaces uh, them? Uh, Obama will appoint someone. Well, uh, well, uh, hopefully, they, they, enjoy or, that. Or job. they'll wait. But good luck trying to get somebody nominated now. I was going to say, election. enjoy uh, that. But that that swing vote's very, very. That swing vote is well. They crucial. just. I mean, the I don't. I don't know the details of it, and I don't want to bloviate about shit I don't know about. But um, there was just a like a climate bill that they just killed that Scalia uh, voted against, and I think Ginsburg, that was like, essentially, what was it, like the Paris climate? Do you guys talk about this kind the of Paris stuff? The Paris Protocol. That yeah, they, 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 they the basically do it. Nah, of, just dick jokes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, they, they wouldn't <laughs> vote on... They, but essentially, no, they said we were going to reduce emissions by some insane amount, and t- we told every, and all these countries passed it, and then we didn't pass it. Like, so embarrassing. Like well, a really... Yeah, they slowed, they slowed it down. They actually did something that they normally don't do. They actually stopped it before that. But that doesn't mean that it still can't happen. Could still happen. It's not. It's the not. the Supreme Court only remember the Supreme Court only judges on whether something are, is constitutional or not. Right, right. They they can't pass laws. They right, can only right. interpret the law. Mm-hmm. And so the, the, it, it's they they rule on its legality as it as it relates to the Constitution. So what else you got, Ev? They're the wise men. They're one of the checks and balances. Our right, next current event, Manny Pacquiao decided it would be a good idea to go on national television in the Philippines and compare gay people to animals. Whoops. Really? Well, he's so he's so 
uh, religious. He thinks yeah. gay people are like, what would he say? His exact yeah, words are two. He, no, he said that there are no gay animals in nature or something. Yeah. The exact quote was, the animals are better. They know how to distinguish male from female. If we approve of male on male, female on female, Why the man is worse than animals. Why are we listening to anyone who's been punched in the head 2,000 times? somebody who's good at throwing a left hook doesn't mean he's a thinker. Uh, well, he's also going to be... Running is, for politics? Well, no, he's going to win, too. Why? How do you do? He's going to get a seat in the Philippine Senate. He's really? going to get it, too, 100%. Sure. Yeah, he, he actually already got it. Uh, look, look, pre- uh, prejudice. Which, where are we all the prejudice. CTE in... Boxing. No, it has nothing to do with that. He's so religious, and I have religious friends who think similar things. Yeah, it's just fucking idiotic. Well, you're relig- morons. Re- prejudice, like he believe. I mean, alive and well. you know, this is someone who also believes in talking snakes, like Adam and Eve and the talking snake with the thing. Yeah. Like this, like I mean, it's yeah. well, he's insanity. taking the Bible literal, like yeah. literally taking it's literal, the Bible. It's it's that's called a fundamentalist. When you when you interpret the Bible or the Quran. Or anything, but if he believes that, it's like it's interesting to me because usually people who are this fundamentalist or adhere this closely to religion is people who are like not educated, who are low income and desperate. I mean, it seems like he's got money, right? He grew up in eating his dog off the streets. He didn't grow up. Educated. He's not educated. He, just because you can fight doesn't mean you're educated. Yeah, no, I know, but you would Trust just. Me. I know, no, oh, I know. I've hung out with you. Yeah, um, well, I have two degrees. With whatever. <laughs> with whatever. <laughs> and so, um, I'm not a doctor. It but. just. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Above love. I can't make fun of those jeans again. Of love. All right, but um, yeah, I will listen. <laughs> listen, man. Uh, uh, there, there's no doubt that all of us have. have I don't think it's uh, the all of the, us the brain trauma. Yeah. I think he just balls deep in the Bible, takes it literally, yeah. and that's his. You know that that in the Philippines religion's huge, so he's sticking to it. That sentiment is not that alien to a lot of Americans or or a lot of there are a lot of countries like try being gay in Russia. See what happens. You can't be my friend. You know he's never me on the podcast. Not that he wants to be, but can we at least get into the thing about no gay animals? There are gay animals, right? Oh yeah, dolphins, giraffes, giraffes, giraffes. Really? Oh yeah, giraffes. Get after it. I might be making that up. I'm almost positive. It's dolphins, giraffes, and Groundhogs. penguins. Ducks, ducks as well. Really? From what I've heard. Yeah. Huh. There is gay. Ooh, we're we're doing are, some bro science now. No, no, no. I've heard that there, there are. There's homosexuality in the animal kingdom. There's a homosexuality dolphins in the Dolphins for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fact. Yeah. It's science, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, why does he want to do that? Like, why would he make this announcement? Like, is it part of his political aspirations? I, not, or no, I think they just or? asked him. He's doing like, you know, because he, he's running for office and this is his last fight. The reason it's his last fight is because he wants to make a change in the Philippines. So they were asking him questions They're like, what do you think of gay, mar- gay marriage going on in America? And he's like, what? And then yeah. he started spewing Do you ever out. think, this is just a question, that um, athletes are more homophobic because the amount of time athletes spend naked with guys not at all i think it's complete opposite i think they're less homophobic mm-hmm. because it's they're not like, as like it's not as alien to them the, and, and there's and there's or no they've got another system <laughs> well but i also think it's like uh i don't even know how to describe it it's almost like the stakes are so high you're around each other so much you form, form this bond yeah where it's like you don't give a shit what the if the guy likes dudes or if he likes girls like that it's not even it's like what you're all yeah. Like, yeah, it's a, no it's just what you have a goal and i don't give a fuck if you're sucking jimmy's dick you know what i'm yeah. saying i don't right. care we just keep going so yeah. I, I think and athletes that are around each other so much in locker rooms and there's that like that locker room talk you don't care about any of that stuff yeah so i, th- I think it's even they're less homophobic in locker rooms where i think a lot of people are going to disagree because mm-hmm. like the first nba player came out then you have the nfl guy and sam whatever and they're like oh well locker rooms are going to ban them but i i disagree i think yeah. a- athletes are like oh who gives a shit right hmm how old is manny pacquiao 37 yeah. is he old hmm. enough old yeah. enough to know better yeah um next uh let's wrap on currents Boom. We'll go to fan questions. We got a bunch of fan right. questions for you. At me. Because fan they're for questions. you. Oh, okay. Fan <laughs> questions. <laughs> All right. First fan question. Wait, what did you think of Taylor Swift's comments at the Grammys about how when you're a successful woman, people will try to undercut or take credit for your success? Uh when you're an asshole, they might. <laughs> I don't I didn't watch it, but I I've never had that experience. I don't so know. Taylor Swift is go. saying that because she, she took a shot at Kanye West in her um, 
and her grandma. No, uh, he's schizo- 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 crazy schizophrenic person ran up. I don't think he was. I don't think he was consciously trying to take credit for his. Oh, because he tweeted that thing. He's a crazy person. He's he's you gone can, crazy. I'm you a can't fan general, too. You can't generalize on everyone based on Kanye West. That is like a narcissistic, magical thinking. Like I think she's lost the plot a little bit and lost perspective. Yeah. And I think that there's this thing. Not to say that there isn't subjugation and impression of women, but this whole thing of like us really successful women have it so hard. It's like you're doing fine. Exactly. You're not. Thank e- you. Everything's fine. But what, what, what about in you Hollywood? You have no problem. Thank but, you. Uh, but what about in Hollywood? The pay scale. Like compare oh, the f- biggest woman star compared to the biggest male star. Look, it's just a reflection of the marketplace. There's a lot. It's just so Forever? much more complicated than that. Like Way it's more. it's just it's very complicated because it's like I can also get paid less, but then get back end. You know the there's just a lot that goes in. I mean the 100%. American the American hustle thing was crazy. I mean Jennifer Lawrence got paid more than the guys. You know it's case by case basis. Yep. You know, but in general, I, and I also can't. Yeah, but I, I mean I I don't know I, I don't think I'm really qualified to this speak whole pay, on this. This whole pay, pay this whole like is so even the regular marketplace is so overblown. First of all, men they've done plenty of studies where a lot of men tend to take jobs. For example, the number of surgeons versus pediatricians is is so skewed for men men tend to go into those positions men tend to be more bigger risk takers mm. if you look at how many men die from dangerous accidents that makes sense. it's men it's the, the number of women is minuscule there is there are certain tendencies men have that put them in positions of higher pay as well you have to take that into account when we start saying oh we have to equal the paying for you know, women don't get as much like bernie sanders and people who say this stuff it's way more complicated but there's also other sense. there's right also right other ways that women get compensated you know like I mean I'm not saying that yeah. I can't really speak to it but it's like women also get beauty campaigns and they get paid you know a million dollars to show up at a party and True. they get you know Ellen gets six million dollars to do a L'Oreal campaign Look it's at like Instagram. Brad, yeah Bradley Cooper doesn't you yeah, know Amy sense. Adams gets a, a product campaign mm-hmm. you know you know so it's like women have a lot more opportunities for income other ways In certain fields yeah, yeah like there they, are other problems out that there makes sense besides the I know it's right. I mean granted I'm not you know fighting that fight I'm not you know Whitney got here f- by chopper I, <laughs> so I don't know but I, I just think there's a little bit of a like god our life is so hard I'm making five million he's making and you're six saying million. save it's it like, bitch I, I don't think Taylor Swift has a lot to complain about and I think she should use her voice for uh, more important issues thank you like finding with, like the man. sex slavery like and shit like that I, I yeah. so well <laughs> said Whitney Cummings I don't well, think Kanye West is oppressing you yeah. I agree more evidence that Whitney what Cummings else you got is smart F? All right, next question. What is your biggest splurge? I guess since you're balling in that HBO money now, what's your biggest splurge? <laughs> uh, uh, how about two broke girls that she created? Um, you that have, HBO you have, money. You don't have private jet money yet, right? Do I you? don't have my syndication money yet. Okay. So, uh, down boys. Um, Jesus. Jesus Christ. What is my uh, biggest splurge? Uh, Our oh. house? No, my house is not expensive. It's uh, I got a Tesla. I guess that's technically a splurge. I dance for you. You got a more expensive car than I dance before. In the cage juices. <laughs> Her splurge is juices. Rose water. Handmade juices You're and totally rose petal detox. water. Um, no, I, I think probably, um, well, I pay for my family members, you know, so. <laughs> that's not really splurging. <laughs> I mean, it's a splurge because I don't have to hang out with them. I can just send them money. Um, <laughs> You know, yeah, I don't have a very like uh, lavish very, lifestyle. Been, yeah. no. You know, I do buy expensive like underwear and like bras and stuff. Um, yeah. well, I don't know. You, huh? you're, you've never Excuse been, me. Oh, I said, I said, yeah. You're not splurging. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like down, oh, okay, I paid a down, down. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Chill. This has been my what else you got? Out? my favorite podcast. Hold on, uh, I think that's it. And traveling. I mean, <laughs> I, on. I do. Let me go through what I else like I travel. Buy. What's the uh, nice place you've ever clo- been? What about clothes? You know, you love the, clothes. Uh, my thing is um, comfort. So where I stay, first class, airfare, like because we've, you know, I used to do eighty cities flying coach, you know, opening for Craig Shoemaker. So yeah, so now it's like. Yes, I do splurge. The, 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 like I, Wi-Fi I fly, on planes, I fly fifty dollars. Yeah, fifty dollars. Sure, no brainer. Yeah. To only have ten minutes left. Fifty bucks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Comfort yep. is where I spend yes. my money. I guess. Yes. When you travel a lot. That's and, a not. I feel like that's not sexy. What answer. about dogs? Dogs. I give. I've got Kickstarter. I've given so much money to dogs. I'm you sure. Splurge on dogs. Scams. I, I splurge on dogs. I don't care. Your about Instagram dogs. is you and dogs. Me and dogs. Yes. Yeah. It's just you and dogs. Yeah. And yours is just you and yourself. Yes. Yes, <laughs> this is true. You and your fucking t-shirts. Me and fighting kids. Yeah, you have a family. <laughs> He's singularly focused. You're a father. 
<laughs> just you well, and fucking Hey, t- don't be mad at me because you can't snap a picture with your catfish boyfriend in Portland. He's a catfish, <laughs> yeah. He's not. He doesn't I, really exist, and that's we okay. Haven't been together. No, we fine. haven't been together no. for f- two years. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's not I, a big deal. Haven't you I made up this doctor for before he came in. We don't have a family together. <laughs> You guys, I'm loving this shit. They're both dying laughing. <laughs> what this I love. so beautiful. Shut up. <laughs> Next fan <laughs> question. What do you love? I am Jerry Springer on this episode. I am literally. Didn't get that invite to the baby shower. I must have gotten <laughs> lost. Did it get lost in the mail? Did I it lost? Know. You That's probably got crazy. lost in all the gifts you get from all these guys. <laughs> It's probably you, just, you probably have to shuffle through it from the roses and not rings a, not and shit. From you. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I, didn't, I, I, gotta, I don't know. It's so weird. Next, next question, Evan. Hurry up, hurry up, Evan. Before this whole I'm podcast. enjoying this. I have, we gotta carbon, end. I have carbonation in my throat, and I feel. Oh, like- I know. I'm into. You'll appreciate this. You know, I saw an Abbott Kenny the other day getting coffee, and I freaked out. Dennis from Always Sunny. You would have thought it was. Tom you know Cruise. what's so funny? I went, oh shit. And he goes, oh my God. Why? I went, dude, I'm the biggest fan. Wait a second. I have a proposition for you. Uh, we'll do this over um, air. Uh, he, uh, Rob McElhaney, who is, you know, cre- created it, yes. called me the other, the other day and he said, uh, this is our last season and we want fans to come in and pitch ideas. What? And I, and I said, you should do it too. Jesus. Yeah. So we'll go on our final date. There it is. <laughs> Bring your doctor. That. I will. I'll Look dress like that. him. I will. I'll get my doctor. He can fix Bahamas. your broken ass fingers. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> he, he can fix your ears. And maybe I'll give him personality. We'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, there you go. What do you got, Ev? <laughs> All right. Next maybe you maybe your girlfriend can, since next. I hear she has a pretty great one. <laughs> this, is, this has been. Oh, I know what you can do. Don't bring him. Let's just FaceTime him. <laughs> metaphor. Let's just bring your Using phone. Metaphors. And then we'll bring it around the like, rule he's, is you have like, to use metaphors. like he's on the date. Let's do that. Using <laughs> metaphors, the two of you. <laughs> Next question. Hurry up, Evan. What the fuck are you doing? This what? is exactly what we needed. What, what oh. job would you have pursued <laughs> if comedy hadn't worked out for you? What What'd did you I? say? What job would you have pursued if comedy hadn't worked out for you? I'd be a teacher. Uh, has it worked out? You would have been a teacher? I think so. For God, you? I have no idea. I have no other skills. Bullshit. What'd you get your degree in? Communications and film. Okay. I'd probably be a writer. Am I allowed to be a writer? Yeah. Yeah, works. I would be a writer right. probably. Which you are. Yeah. I teach gymnastics to 18, 19 year old girls. Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I would be there for them. I'd be a fifth uh, grade gym teacher. <laughs> Ooh, let's bend. Let's bend. Hey, man. What? Fifth grade uh, gym teacher. All right. Well, Kickball. I actually that's I need some I'd wear TV. sweats all the time. Like, I need some ideas because I have, a, like, off camera by 40 is my goal. Oh, you just be, be my bitch. All right. Um, I'll keep you in an apartment. All right. Uh, go ahead. That makes right. sense. You're not gonna have to get the oak woods. You want, you want out by the time you're 40 of the yeah. whole business? Oh, yeah. I have you, you, have you been on high def television? Uh, <laughs> it it hates you. women. I love you I'm for not, that I'm lady. done. That's my like retirement plan. 33 now. I mean, Start I'd writing. like to be by, off camera by 38. I love your attitude. Yeah. Five years. Fucking kids. Uh, what else you got, Ev? You. All right, this next you guy just wants to know Whitney's craziest fan story. Do you have any stalkers? God. Oh, um,. Yeah, the one, like, I mean, I had, and I was actually just texting with Rogan about this because he had a situation. He just texted me from his new number. Yep. And uh, he's like, I had this crazy stalker. I was like, was it Tommy Morris? <laughs> Two people are going to get that. Tommy from the comedy store. Oh. Please cut that out because now I'm bombing thanks sorry. to no, no, fucking sorry, burnout sorry. Callen. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, you're the only person who would get that and get you did it. Yeah. You've never knew his last name. That is so, you're such a narcissist. Knew him for 10 years. You've known him forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm every day for 10 years. Didn't, Don't think, know he had, his name. didn't think he had a last name. <laughs> okay, so this was, Tommy like, X. this was like five years ago, and I had this guy who was calling me from like a bunch of different numbers, like on like calling cards and like random area codes and stuff, different pay phones. And I mean, it was maybe like 20, 30 times a day. Like it was Ooh. nuts. So after like a week, I, and then he would leave messages and he left and just say like, hey, what's up? And then it would just be like silent. And then he did say, hey, it's, I don't remember his name, but he's like, I met you at Sony. Like he had this weird story. And then I was like, okay, this person like thinks we know each other. So the police, talk me through how to because what you have to do is you have to get them on the phone yeah. and they have to be on the phone for at least a minute at like two oh, it's like the movies a minute and a half in the movie's 30 seconds though. To, oh really it was a minute i think to find out where they're, um, where they're yeah this is the burbank police so maybe they need a minute yeah. uh opposed to 30 seconds and so they were like just ask questions don't disagree with anything he says don't say i don't know what you're talking about just like yes and you know 
So I get on the phone with him. I'm like shaking. Like I'm so scared. And I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, hey, how's it going? I'm trying to get in touch with you. I'm like, I know. I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. And he's like, yeah, I haven't seen you since Sony. I'm like, I know. Like just going along with it. And then finally, um, we're like kind of hitting it off. <laughs> I think it's like we're like kind of talking and I'm like sort of getting into it. Like, And then he was like, just hangs up on me out of nowhere. And they're like, great, we got it. He's in, you know, it was like some pay phone and um, like, like not Culver City. What's the other place? Studios. No, no. Um, uh, Van Nuys. Right. Uh. And uh, and then they found out where he is, and they were, all, and then um, they were like, "Let me know if you know what happens." I don't hear from him ever again. Oh yeah, they went and had a talk with him. No, I, I I don't know if it's that. They two things. They called me like the police called me like, or the investigator called me a couple days later and was like, "What's going on?" I was like, "I haven't heard from him." Like. And I seriously was like, is it something I said? No, maybe you talked to him and engaged him. Well, that's what they said. A lot of times, once they talk to you, that's all they need. Wow. Oh, wow. And then they're done. It's the chase. It's so about interesting. the obsession. And then once you're like, yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah. He's like, fuck. He saw how shitty my personality was. And he was just like, oh, God. I'm, like, fucking, you know I'm going to find someone so else. So fucking nasal. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? That's so they really said, because they said, oh, that's really common. Yeah. That once it just like bursts their bubble and they move on to someone oh, else. Oh, wow. But I was like, literally wanted to be like, Give, I, I'm going to call him. I have, I have to, someone to call Come back, see what's I going on. Why? why the rejection? Why? Why? Why, why aren't you stalking me was anymore? Something I said, like I was genuinely. I know, I know a rock star who was. An, I'm talking about a legit rock star who had a stalker like that and was genius enough to say to him, "Listen, I really appreciate how much you love me, but if you hang around my house like this, you're going to attract a bunch of crazies, and they're going to they're, they're then and I can't have a bunch of crazies around. So like they're not going to know that you're just a super fan." And so you need to protect me from this bullshit because wow. I can't have you. And I, and I so really you appreciate it. it, but you gotta. If you're here, then they're all gonna come. And he he Felt cast like him as duty. a role as my protector. Oh, that's cool. And he never heard from that guy again. He goes, "I will always protect your privacy." So uh, I mean, it depends. Apparently, that's David Letterman once a year has a show for all the people who think they're married to him. I what? Bet. And I bet. once a year, all these people show up. And it's like all the crazies, and they keep him close, and he says hi to them, like batshit crazy. Just to leave them at bay? A, yes, just to like Very satiate smart. them. Wow. Once a year, it's all people who think they're betrothed. Holy shit. There, there are services you can call. Yeah. And I know another very famous person who is having a major problem with um, a stalker. You know mm -hmm. this person. I'll tell you that's right, out there. And there was, uh, he went to a, an agency and they just made it go away and it, not not illegally but that this guy was a threat and they uh they made that go That's away scary stuff man yeah They're how do they i mean they he never asked questions but it just they said they said uh, it was fifty thousand dollars and they Jesus. said yep. and they said but it was all in the cheap. up and up and they said um it'll go away is it like deep web away. or like on the dark web uh, nope. It's Did he not. pay with Bitcoin? No, no, no. It, okay. No, this was before Bitcoin, and this is before the dark web. This wow. Was, uh, this was a group of guys that can take care of problems legally. Legally, really interesting. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they threaten the fuck out of them or do whatever. But these right, guys right. were these guys were rough. No joke, dudes. They were you real. Some, the you real deal. It, real issues if you're hiring these dudes. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you about it after. Huh. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Um. Yeah, I've had a couple like weird things, but it's mostly like comedy bookers. <laughs> it's like, hey, want to do want to do comedy juice? I'm like, fucking, come on, man, <laughs> it's that shit. But the problem with comedians is you can find us whenever you want. We tell you where we God are every it. single God night. Damn right. I'll be at the comedy store at eleven. I'll be at so and so. That's where why are you like, going to be so we can see you? I'm taking a little bit of time off from stand up. Well, you just shut your special and mm -hmm. you're writing HBO yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. You're busy. I'm going to get back, but I think that, um, I don't know how you feel about this, but I like to take some time off because I feel like when you keep doing stand up, you yes. start doing like a bad impression of yourself. Yes. You need to like reset. Yes, you do. Resets you know what are you're very, doing. Resets you're very important. Maybe. Whitney Cummings, you've been awesome. I knew you would be too. One of my okay. favorite people. Callan, where can they see you? You're in Philadelphia. I'm, I'm in Philadelphia. Helium? I'm in Philadelphia at Helium starting. Um, Starting Thursday, Love that this club. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're sold out Saturday already. Oh, I have dates on my website. I am doing some dates because mommy has bills. Good girl. <laughs> so go to your website, which is Napa, what? Phoenix. What's your website? ElizaSchlesinger.com. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, so uh, see Callan and Philly. Go uh, yeah, to Whitney's the tickets website. are there's still tickets available Thursday and Friday. I you believe. can get Callan's tickets at tfatk.com and then also or Denver here. and Irvine. You're up March 16th. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be in Denver. 
Okay, March uh, <laughs> March sixteenth. We have really good chemistry. No, Denver is March. I know, I know. I'm yeah. trying to do a read here. March sixteenth. March sixteenth. Uh, uh, the Fire and the Kid live in Irvine, and then Denver eighteenth and nineteenth. Two shows, Friday and Saturday only. Uh, Denver, let's represent. Come on out. It's my birthday. Let's get weird. Go to tfatk.com. I'm going to be 42 years old. <laughs> I want to thank my, my best friend, Jimmy Burke, for being in the house. Yeah, uh, good to see you guys. We, I told the story, Jimmy, of you finding a hand in a yeah, glove. Yeah, we'll talk about that after so. this. Uh, wait, anything? You good? Uh, I'll see you later. Yes, you will. <laughs> Tell the doc I said what's up. I got a weird cough. We should talk about it. <laughs> this is the Vine Kid. We're out.